Hi, I'm Brooke from Start at Home and today Dave and I will show you how we built this workbench from start to finish. If you don't have a chop saw, you can use a circular saw to cut your 2x4s. Dave used a square to mark his 45 degree angle and then cut along the diagonal edge. I prefer to use a chop saw so we use that for the rest of the 2x4s. For this workbench we cut 6 2x4s to 60 inches long with a 45 degree angle on each end. Next we cut 4 2x4s to 30 inches long and 2 2x4s to 27 inches long, again with 45 degree angles on each end. We then used our Craig tool to make two pocket holes on each end of our shorter 6 2x4s. Once we had all of the pocket holes drilled, we started making our top and bottom frames. For these frames, we used the four 30 inch 2x4s and four of the 60 inch 2x4s. For extra strength, we applied glue first and then used a clamp to help hold our 45 degree angles together. Once our corners were clamped, we used two inch Craig screws to hold them together. Now that we have our bottom frame built, we will follow the same steps to make our top frame. Now that we have finished the top and bottom frames, we will put together the middle shelf. For this shelf, we use two 60 inch long 2x4s and two 27 inch long 2x4s and assemble them the same way as our top and bottom shelves. Now that our frames are completed, we added our MDF boards to the top. We first glued our sheets of half inch thick MDF to our frame and then nailed them with my finish nailer. I had these boards cut down the size at the hardware store where I bought them. However, I made a mistake on my measurements. Oops. But don't worry, we will fix that down the road. We added the MDF to our shelf the same way as the top and bottom frames, but since our shelf is 3 inches shorter than our top and bottom frames, Dave used a circular saw and cut along the edge of our 2x4s. Now it is time to cut the four legs. For this, we cut our 2x4s down to 27 inches long. We used our Craig tool again to make two pocket holes on each end of our legs. We applied glue to the bottom edge of each leg and then used 2 inch Craig screws to attach the legs to the bottom. Since I measured the MDF wrong, we cut a small piece to fit the ends of both frames. I will use spackle to fill the cracks later. Now that our MDF piece is in place, we can finish installing the last two legs. Now that the legs are attached to the bottom shelf, we put glue on the top of each leg and then place the top shelf on. We used a 3 foot C clamp to help hold the top in place while we screwed our legs to the top. Next, we added our shelf. This shelf is 18 inches high. To make sure we attached it correctly, we cut three 18 inch 2x4s to hold the shelf up until we could get it screwed into our frame. I drilled two pilot holes on the outside of each leg for our screws to go in. We then used two and a half inch screws to attach our shelf to our frame. Craig joints are very strong, but adding this shelf to the center will make this bench even stronger. We added pegboard to one of the ends to hold extra tools. To do this, we cut two braces for the top and bottom. We will use these braces to attach the pegboard to.
We flipped the workbench over to add wheels. We first marked where we wanted our 3 inch caster wheels to be and then I used a drill to make pilot holes for our lag screws. Dave then screwed in 4 lag screws for each wheel. When installing lag screws a socket wrench comes in handy. Now that our wheels are installed, we flipped the bench back over. We cut the last piece of MDF to fix where I measured wrong, and our bench is complete. Now it is time to patch the holes with spackle and get it ready to paint. While I filled the holes, Dave sanded down the rough edges. It is time for paint. For my first coat, I used Kills Primer in my paint sprayer. Using a primer first helps to seal the wood and create a nice, even paint finish. I accidentally forgot to tape off my wheels, so make sure to do that before starting. Once I finished taping off my wheels, I finished spraying the workbench with primer. Now that my primer is dry, I used my sander to smooth the paint out to ensure a smooth paint finish. Next, I painted this bench with two coats of paint. I used a white latex paint and satin for both coats. After my latex paint had dried, I added two coats of a water-based polyurethane for added durability. Now that our bench is complete, I added a few hooks to wrap cords around and I also added a power strip for my battery chargers and tools. <laughs> 